Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to me and my giant glitter. Who doesn't love giant glitter? So today I'm going to be going through my Ipsy Plus box. So I did not do the sneak peek on this, so it's going to be a complete surprise to me what's in here, except for watching other people's videos that um, I could possibly get the same thing they did. So that's why this is fun, so we can compare um, what we get in our boxes and we're going to try some things out. Okay, so let's get into it. This is how it comes in the mail. Drops just like this. So, open her up. Slowly but surely. Open her up. Take off the sticker. And inside it says, Discover yourself. I would have hoped I discovered myself a long time ago. But, you know. Alright, so first thing I see is the card that has all the product information on it. So we'll read through that as we go along. Specs. Have them handy. Okay, so Duche Punk Volumizer Mascara in Black. I believe that is, yep, this Duche. That's it. So let's open her up. I was getting a new mascara. I did need a new one, I think. Well, I did just buy one of my uh, favorites. I bought another one of it, but let's open this up and see what the applicator looks like. Ooh, big fat giant applicator, which I'm not usually a fan of the big fat ones, but I'm always willing to give things a chance. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. If you love the look of false lashes. This is a mascara for you. It delivers a, dra um, a drama. It delivers drama and length without any smudging, flaking, or clumping. It's from Duche. I think that's how you pronounce it. A beauty brand founded by two fashion and beauty pros who celebrate expressing individual individuality through makeup. Uh, the tip that they offer. <laughs> Start at the root of the lashes and gently wiggle the brush through the entire length of your lash. So basically, put it on like mascara. The value of this is $24. Sorry, this is like the tiniest writing. So even with my glasses, I'm having difficulty. All right, so the next thing is the Ciate London. Uh, it's going to be this. Uh, Ciate London. Courtney Act Stamp and Drag Liner. Oh, this is the thing that's got a, like a, a stamp for a wing, which I don't normally wear a wing, but it's only because when I put one on, I don't like the way it looks, but I could be doing it wrong. Who knows? <laughs> so this is it when it, not that's kind of pretty packaging. It's like a rose gold. So let's see. Well, that's the drag liner. It's a pretty big applicator. And then on this end, I imagine, is going to be the stamp. Yeah. If you struggle with your cat eye, raise hand. Ooh. This double end ended liner created by Ciate London in collaboration with Drag Via Sensation Courtney Act. Uh, is for you. One side is foolproof wing stamp while the other is precise pointed felt tip. Simply stamp on the corners of each eye with symmetric wings. Flip the pen over and line and drag with the pointed tip to create the perfect wing eyeliner look. Okay, yeah, so why not? Give it a, give it a try. I usually, like in my last video, I just showed you how I do just that final lash. That's about as much wing as I usually do. But I'm adventurous. Let's give it a try. Next item is uh, Sapphire Botanicals Happy Hibiscus Blush Palette. That's this here. Take it out of that bowl wrap. And I appreciate that they wrapped it up nice for us. Come on. There we go. It's a pretty packaging. Sapphire. 
and then we'll rip this guy open and there goes the plastic cover oh and it's got some shimmery shimmery blushes in here Ooh, I kind of really like that okay so let's read about that makeup that's healthy organic and fair trade whatever that means <laughs> so you can feel good using it sign Sign us up. This vegan blush palette is made with 99% natural ingredients and it's flattering on every skin tone. The peachy and shimmery shades can be mixed and matched for custom glowy flush. Tip. Uh, apply either hibiscus or petal blush to the apples of your cheeks for a luminous pop of color. For a touch of shimmer, sweep, harvest, and dew drop on the high points of your cheekbones. So basically it's like a highlighter. Um, and I'm sorry, I forgot to the full, uh, the price of the Ciate London um, liner was $19. And the value of the price of the uh, blush palette is $48. That's the price of it. Sometimes the price and the value, in my opinion, are two different things. <laughs> but that's me. Okay, next, Illumisqua Hydra Veil Primer. So that's this guy here. I saw somebody else that got this, and it was pretty confusing packaging here. It's got this little what looks like a spoon on top which is super weird but I think it's just a handle to get this open honestly maybe and it's like a gelatinous yeah I like that word clear gelatinous weird consistency primer but we're gonna give it a try all right so the ultimate time saver Hydravel is both a hydrator and a primer, instantly moisturizing and smoothing your skin in one simple step. The futuristic clear gel formula absorbs quickly, so it's the perfect step before foundation application. Apply a small dollop of Hydravel to fresh, clean skin. Gently apply it to your face and massage into your skin until the product is fully absorbed. Okay then, we'll try that. Uh, the per, uh, value of that is $45. The cost of that, the price of that. Uh, GG Gorgeous, the Slick Sculpt Bronzer Duo is the next product. In Turnt and Extra. So let's open that up. Getting a new bronzer. So once I got through all the packaging, which was a lot, um, we got this. It's kind of like a compact. Open it up. Got this little cover. You hear that? I don't know why it's loose. But these are the shades. A lighter one and a darker one. I guess you can use it as a, a tambourine as well. So, the Gigi Gorgeous, named for the YouTube personality, author, and activist, Gigi Gorgeous, is a limited edition and ipsy exclusive collection of essentials to get your glowing on your own terms. Get you glowing on your own terms. Uh, this versatile, these versatile shades can be worn alone or layered for bisoak bronzing effect for a basoque bronzing effect. Uh, tip, swirl your preferred blush into the pan, tap off excess, and dust over your forehead, cheeks, cheekbones, and jawline. Everywhere sunlight would hit your face. So again, apply it like a bronzer. Okay, so that's that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into trying some of these out. I forgot to mention at the bottom of the box was the bag for this month. Got a cute cheetah pattern bag. Oh, it's got a little tassel. Kind of cute. I love the cuteness of the bags that come.
you know, what a disaster. That's all right. It's just to put my makeup on, so no big deal. All right, so let's go in with this Ilum Squad primer. It smells okay. It doesn't smell like flowers or, you know, berries or anything like that. It just smells like nothing, really. It smells like water. Mm. I think you need less than a dollop, I would say. So yeah, it was definitely leaving my skin tacky. So what I've decided to do, actually, is I'm going to put some stuff on off camera just to save time. Okay. So I have my base on, and now we're going to try out these bronzers. So I'm going to take my usual bronzer brush. I think I'm going to go into a combo of these two here. And bronze up. Let's see how we like this bronzer. Not bad. Very pigmented. Can't say I hate it. Okay, so I'm going to take just this guy here, the darker one, and contour up my cheeks. My jawline. It's not bad. Kind of like that. So then we're going to dip into the Happy Hibiscus blush palette and go into uh, Petal. Petal? Or Hibiscus? Mm, petal. I like the pinkier shade, so I already got enough dark on my face. So we're going to pop this just right here on the apples, drag it up a tiny bit. Then I'm going to take this little guy and I'm going to go into Dewdrop. This, this one right here. And I think this will be a good highlighter. Oh, yeah. For sure. For sure, for sure. Likey, likey. It's actually very pretty. Chin. Cupid's bow. And down my nose. A little bit peach right there and right here. Oh, wow, <laughs> that got crazy on me real quick. Hold on, okay. See how shiny that is? Can you see it? Can you see it? Yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking the happy hibiscus. One more time, I'll show it to you. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to go off camera and do my eye look. And then come back to try out the uh, stamping eyeliner and the mascara. Okay, so I did my eyes. I did my lips. That's all done. So let's give this stamper a try. Um, so this is what it looks like again. I don't know. Let's give it a try and see if I can stamp right. It's pretty easy. Let's see if I can get it straight on the other side. <gasps> what? Not bad. It is almost like just like a last lash. It's not super long. Um, let's try the rest of this. Really pigmented. So we just connect the dot there. And do the rest of the liner. Hmm, I don't know. I might like this. 
I do know. I do like this. Wow. I am impressed. That is cute. What do you guys think? I think it's cute. It's got a... That was fast. That was like super fast. I am a fan. Okay, so let's try out that mascara now. Oh yeah, big applicator. Big, big, big guy. It's a big guy. Okay, so... First impressions here, guys. Not my fave. Okay, that's one coat. If I weren't going to work, I might put on those lily lashes that I got in my boxy charm. But I am going to work, so I'm not going to waste them on work. I'm going to save those for date night. So a little second coating. I could say one thing. It's definitely not clumpy. The only thing I don't like is the big fat applicator. Because I have a problem with getting myself in the eye almost every time. That's why I like a smaller applicator. But anyway, this is the final look that I got with the products that I use today. Um, I'm not mad at them. I kind of like each and every one. Uh, I especially like the hibiscus, the happy hibiscus. And then the mascara, like I said, not mad at that. Uh, the bronzer, I think the bronzer is really nice. Browns me up good. And what else? What else? What else? Oh, that uh, Illumisqua. Actually, that, as I'm looking close, uh, I can see a lot of my pores still. So as a primer goes, I like more of one that's going to fill in your uh, pores, like the Spackle by Laura Geller or the uh, Dr. Brandt's um, primer. So, I mean, I could maybe use both. It definitely was tacky, which makes it great for putting your foundation on top of it. So I would definitely use it for that. Although the consistency is just a little unnerving. It's just uh, the futuristic gelatinous sludge that it is, is just a little off-putting. <laughs> But, um, I'm not going to say that it doesn't work because my foundation looks pretty good. That L'Oreal lipstick that has the sealer, I tried a different liquid lip today. I tried the, um, the liquid cat suit, yeah, in burgundy. <laughs> I'm going to call it burgundy because I can't see it. Um, so I'm going to try the sealer on top of this liquid lip and see if it works with this one as well. Alright, so the saga continues. I'll let you guys know in my next video if this sealer is good for any liquid lip. So thank you for joining me for this unboxing and try on. And I really enjoyed myself. I hope you guys did too. Make sure, if you're not subscribed already, to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications of my future uploads. And give this video a thumbs up. Okay, guys. Bye.